all right guys uh, straight up to the points here uh, I'm going to show you today how to share a photo on Facebook wall like let's say in your application in your Android application you might want users to select a photo from the gallery and then they can share it on Facebook you know sometimes you just want them to like select an image pop up the login screen and then that's it and then the image will be shared in the background so that's what i'm going to show you today and on how to do that using the facebook android sdk so the first thing you want to do is to create an app on facebook so you create an app on facebook that is developers.facebook.com then you will get an app id okay so once you get the app ID, you really would want to store it in a strings.xml file like I did here. So if, once you store that in the in the in the strings.xml file, just you will just use it later on. Just give it a name like Facebook app ID or app ID. That's all. Second thing you want to do now is to go into your Gradle file. So assuming you're using the build.gradle, I mean the Gradle you know dependency management for android studio you can just basically go there go there and uh, so i'll just do like build or gradle and i'll open it now to include the facebook android sdk you need to add this line here which says compile com dot facebook dot android and then facebook android sdk 4.1 which is the version now zero so once you have added this you will be you know you'll be prompted to sync your app you know if you've already not done that you'll you'll see a, a, you know something saying sync now and once you you finish that the android sdk will be included in your project now the third thing you want to do now is to go into your android manifest file once you are in the android manifest file you want to request permissions for internet connectivity you need the internet to post you know to, to connect the, the 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 facebook servers you it's no brainer here so you will need that and then you need three things these three things are including the facebook activity remember this is in the facebook sdk that you just downloaded through the gradle system so you need this here and as you can see, it's pretty clear. You can just copy this from the internet or pause my video and look at it and just get it down there. Just add it to your manifest, you know, just in line with the other activities. And then you need to add the metadata. The metadata here is like uh, very common if you've used Facebook and SDK before for Android. Basically just do Android name com .facebook .sdk application ID and then you provided the value here. The value here is exactly the same value that we have we had uh, you know stored here in the strings or XML file. Okay. So once you're done with that, you also need to add provider. This provided name tag or, or element is important for sharing and logging into Facebook. So you need this for sharing and logging into Facebook. Once you're done with setting up your android manifest file you come back now to your main activity or whatever activity that you want people to use when logging into facebook and sharing stuff you can come here and you know let's just do this really quick here first you need to create a callback manager you know for the entire class so just create a callback manager instance here and then this is a special case where i'm using a login manager login manager will work in place of having a login button provided by facebook if you don't want to use the facebook provided login ui you can just use a login manager so that people will actually log in and then i mean they don't have to click a button to do it they don't have to click the login button to do it so i i go i went that route because i didn't want to add the login button to my ui so that users can just like you know go directly to the login screen or the login dialog so just immediately after you you set the content view of your activity you basically want to initialize the facebook sdk by passing in the get application contest me method here which will actually provide the context here so that is uh, also simple and then you also want to initialize the callback manager by calling the create method of the factory class and then once you do that you that will be done and then here is the here's the tricky part if you want to publish stuff to facebook walls you need publish permissions if you want to just read stuff 
you need read permissions for this case though we need publish permissions because we are just publishing an image to a Facebook user wall so we just have to create that as a list and then uh, we, we save it somewhere we will use it later on and then we also want to get the uh, login manager instance like this once you get the login manager instance you can then log in with permissions for publishing all right so you just say login with publish permissions pass the context and then you also pass the permissions that we initialized a few seconds ago above here so once you do that the third thing that you need to do now is register a callback you know a callback registration expects you to pass in a callback manager which we initialized and and a Facebook callback. This Facebook callback will notify us when certain things have been done, like if you know, the login has been completed or the logging process has been cancelled or there was an error. An error could happen and you know you just want to know that and capture that and do the appropriate thing. So once the logging in has been successful, that is inside your own success, what you could do now is actually publish your image or post your image to the Facebook wall. And that's why I created this method publish image. Now in this publish image you need a bitmap. That bitmap that you want to share. And to do that you can you know just bitmap factory decode some resource somewhere in your folders or you can get it from your storage wherever no nobody cares so as long as you have a bitmap image you can do that and then you create a share photo uh, instance which is in the from the builder class of share photo you can do that and then pass the bitmap itself and then set the caption like what the image is about and then you build it once you're done with that, you also need to create a share photo content, just the same as the previous one, but this one is a different class. You build it as well and pass the photo that you created here. See, this photo here is passed here. Once you're done with that, you can build it and then call the share method of the share API class and pass the content that you just created here. Remember, you can either pass the content and a null value or just the content and a callback. You can pass a callback so that you'll be also notified when something is completed or canceled or there was an error. The last thing you want to do here is to simply override the own activity results method and then you just call uh, on activity results and pass the request code, response code and data on the callback manager. That's all you need to post to Facebook. You can you know just step through this video slowly by slowly and then you know at the end of the day it should work and uh, I hope this helped you and good luck and please remember to subscribe and uh, let's let's keep in touch okay all right check out my website simpledeveloper.com for more of this kind of stuff. See ya